time at Dish with D. That's me. It's time for what I eat in a day on the WW plan. Are you still on the diabetic plan, D? Sorta. <laughs> so yes, here, I'm gonna be honest with you, there's not a lot here. I don't, I thought I filmed some more. Yes, I didn't. So here is not a lot of what I ate for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. And there's a tasting, I believe. I know, I apologize. I, I d sometimes I have a life <laughs> other than here. And sometimes I, I do, I forget to pick up the camera and some, I just do. So I apologize. This is what you get. I will try to do better next week, but it's still some good food. So if you have any questions about anything, please leave it in the comment section below. If you're not hit that subscribe button, try to share Dish With D where we kind of film what we eat. <laughs> We do our best, but you know, it is what it is some weeks. So let's roll that food footage. We're gonna have for lunch today, because I'm really not that hungry, but I'm gonna have it anyway. Chobani Zero Sugar Pumpkin Spice. This scans at one point, so I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna add some pumpkin because you know, I might as well. And I'm going to add some of this triple tree granola. And this is very high in points. Um, an eighth of a cup is three, so I'm gonna have an eighth of a cup on top of my yogurt. So my yogurt will be four points. Tonight's dinner is a little taco, chicken taco. They're chicken tenders. I season with taco seasoning, lettuce, tomato, and refried beans. The refried beans did come up as points. It came up as three points. I don't have the full serving because I may have another one, but the two tortillas are the carb not, gluten-free, low carb. So two of them are three points. So it's six points for my tacos. I have half a cup of quinoa for three points and half a serving of the corn for one point. So my dinner is 10 points. Lunch today was one of those carb knot wraps for one point, one point of turkey, one, two points of cheese, and some cucumber. And I'm finishing up the pop chips and nacho. I just have one gram over the amount, so it's four points. And I can't wait to dig into this little quick and tasty lunch. It's mozzarella cheese, by the way. Mozzarella cheese for two points. Dinner tonight is a, I have no idea what, it's a bowl. It is eight points. I have to count my mozzarella. I have to count my quinoa. I have to count my corn and my dressing. My dressing is three points. My cheese is three points. My corn is one point And my quinoa is only an eighth cup is only one point. So that is my, I, there is some chickpeas, lettuce, and a little celery salad. That is absolutely amazing. I probably should, if I had more, I'd give it a point because of the olive oil, but there's not that much there. So that, oh, I have to show you that. Beets, of course, for zero, and that's my dinner. Time for another tasting. Were you tasting, JD? A protein cookie that was recommended to somebody at GMC, said he's just his favorite. Like, I, I don't know why I care, but this is a white chocolate chunk, black ice chocolate from CTRL Science. I've never heard of this. It's eight points for this cookie. I guess I didn't scan it. 240 calories and there is 15 grams of protein. So we're going to split this with the fat. So I'm only going to have a small. Yeah, it's actually all broken up. <laughs> but it got destroyed, as you can see. Kind of got destroyed. But we will see. Very dark. Let's see. So we will have maybe a third of this. So it's eight points for the cookie. Like a little over two and a half points, three points. Let's see. It smells interesting. Let's see if it tastes good. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's a nice dark chocolate. I don't think I would pay eight points for it or like a lot. But it's tasty. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, it's not bad. I'd give it a four or five. Breakfast this morning is half of a pumpkin bread. I had the other half yesterday. I only felt like half, so I only ate half. So here's the other half. For I'm going to give it two points. It's the whole loaf, I think, is three points. But we're going to give half two points. And that's going to be my breakfast this morning. I did add the chocolate chips. I don't know if I put that in the video. I think I did. 
Part two of breakfast was a chai tea latte at the coffee shop. When I go to coffee shops, I usually sub out the milk for skim milk or almond milk. And I usually get a sugar-free syrup. I think that was sugar-free vanilla. So I gave it five points for my delicious, so good, chai tea latte at the Hens and Honey Shop. Dinner tonight is a cup of rice, some leftover chicken, some leftover corn, and some green beans. A little over a cup of rice, I'll say we'll give it seven points. Chicken zero. I don't have enough corn to count or green beans, but the chicken is zero as well. So that's going to be dinner tonight. Breakfast is one of those bars. It's all nuts and seeds. I gave it seven points. My three point breakfast, two points for my dad in. And this is a little, probably the left of the granola. It's probably not even barely a point's worth, but I'll give it a point. So it is my three point breakfast this morning on the run. Dinner was Green Goddess Chicken Cobb Salad from Panera Bread. In the app, it is seven points, and I did get an apple on the side. So that was my dinner. It was absolutely yummy and thoroughly enjoyed it. Lunch today while I make some fritters is just a salad with a scoop of chicken salad. Except they found the mayonnaise on that. I, I think it's regular mayonnaise, so I will give it like three points. I don't think there's that much on there, but everything else is just vegetables, so that's going to be my lunch today. Breakfast this morning is a slice of Grace's oat bread for two points. I have a laughing cow cheese for one point, one point, half of the avocado mash, and one fried egg on my breakfast toast this morning. So my breakfast is two points, three points, four points, zero points. So it's four points for my breakfast this morning. I made this bread on my vlog on Thursday on Dish with D. Check it out. Lunch and dinner was at a birthday party. It's all Filipino food. I have no idea what the points are, but I had 22 points going into it. Two points for my peach, two points for my fair life, three points for my oats. That is my peach. Oh, and one point for my cottage cheese. Peach cheesecake overnight oats. So I'm gonna go enjoy this for breakfast this morning. Dinner tonight is grilled chicken with barbecue sauce, roasted potatoes, and salad. My potatoes are two points. My salad is two points for the dressing. And there's two points for my barbecue sauce because it's not g -Hughes. So we have a four, two, four, six point barbecue dinner tonight. I may go back for another piece of chicken. We'll see how I feel. Breakfast this morning is a green bowl. I have half a cup of cooked quinoa. I have, uh, a half a bell pepper, green, a little bit of onion, a Jimmy Dean turkey breakfast sausage patty, and some mushrooms. I think that's it. So it's three for my quinoa, the rest of my, uh, uh, and two for the sausage. So it's five points. Oh, I do have a laughing cow cheese wedge for one point. So my bowl with one fried egg on top is six points. But if you notice, I've been only having one egg with breakfast lately. I just feel like, honestly, it's all I really want. Uh, I don't need a second egg. I could save it for a snack. So that is my six-point green bowl this morning. I can't wait to dig in. This is a little bit runny, so hopefully it'll ooze all over my breakfast bowl. So, yep, looks really good. I can't wait to dig into this. Time for another retro D recipe. We're going to do our grits loaf. I may make the cracked out egg salad. We'll see how I feel. It's one of my favorite combinations. It's great for breakfast. I know egg salad for breakfast sounds weird, but it's really good. So we're gonna make the grits loaf. You know, I had to change the, I reflected on the website. It'll be on dishwithy.com. I will re redo it because this one's a little bit messed up. But this is a really good loaf made with breakfast grits. So hope you enjoy it. In my bowl, I have a whisked egg to that. I'm going to add a little bit of this butter extract. I know, don't leave this out, it's important. Almost a teaspoon, not quite. And instead of the banana in the original recipe, I was going to do applesauce, but I think I'm gonna finish up my non-fat Greek yogurt. That'll be work really well in here. I don't have much in here, so we probably have about a quarter of a cup. I just want to get rid of it anyway, so there we go. I'm going to use that in place of the applesauce. Late to the game player. That. Let's get that combined. 
And I'm also leaving out the mung fruit sweetener that was in the original recipe. You can add it. I just don't want a sweet bread. I want a just kind of flat bread. You know, if you do, you go. All right, we'll do a quarter cup of the quick grits. Oops, let's go. that's not the lid. That's the lid. Okay. I'm going to let the grits overflow. We'll do our dash of salt as we do in everything. And a little bit of baking powder. Probably about a half a teaspoon. Let's see how this looks. Sorry to me. Do I want to add anything else? What is in the recipe? Mm, the recipe. I don't know. I don't know if I really want. Part of me says I should put a little bit of sweetener on it because I love nothing better than sweet corn. So maybe we should grab. I know. Stay there. Don't move. Just grab one of these little sweetener packets. This way I don't feel too guilty because there is a little bit of in there. There we go. I don't feel as guilty now. <laughs> My oven is preheated to 375. Apparently I used, to, I used that temperature. Yeah, we're not gonna use the applesauce. So that's going to be it. Oh, for our cutting salad. So let me grab my pan. Remember what I said, we coat all pans with pan spray because the other stuff, it sticks. And I will use the butter for things that are sweet. All right. This. Uh, bad angle, but it's easier for me to pour this way. I am working on a new angle here, I know. I've been promising you that for many weeks. All right. We'll see how she comes out. It may be an epic flop. We'll see. She baked for 20 minutes, got a little overdone. I think it was the toaster oven, quite honestly. But we're gonna unmold her and I'm gonna cut her and I'm gonna bake her, like toast her. So it's gonna be like a toast or vehicle for something. Could be anything you wanna put on there, but I'm gonna let it cool for a little, a few seconds and then we'll unmold her and then the fun begins. Let's do it. I'm telling you, I'm not even gonna scrape the sides. I'm just gonna flip her over. She is very hot though. <laughs> Maybe I should have scraped the sides. Let's see, she popped right out. And she did! Pam spray for the win. There she is, look at that. <gasps> it's kinda like, Kind of like cornbread in a, in a weird sort of way. But honestly, you could have put cheese in here. Would have been good. Maybe nutritional yeast, give it a cheesy taste. Would have been really good. So if you have extra points and you want to throw it in there, I'd say a little cheese. But look at her. <gasps> she is beautiful. A little overdone on the top, but that was my fault. But I'm going to let her cool for a little bit. And then I'm going to cut her, make two big planks, and we're going to put some egg salad on there. Some... Cracked out egg salad. What is cracked out egg salad? That is just egg salad. I make mine with yogurt. You can use mayonnaise, whatever you like. And you put a little bit of ranch powder and a little bit of bacon bits. It's a little bit fun. You know, and the bacon makes it feel breakfasty. You know, could you use real bacon? Sure you could. If you have real bacon, put it in there. But I only happen to have bacon bits, so that's what I'm using. Indian bacon would go good on there. There's so many things. You experiment with your food. I experimented, look what I did. I mean, think about it. You can make a plate of eggs. Like grits in the South are really big with breakfast. And we didn't, we found that out when we went, you know, I think we were in Virginia. And we're here up in the North. All our 
eggs come with hash browns, shredded potatoes, stuff like that. Down there, they all come with grits. And if you, unless you specify, you get grits. Now, my husband loves grits. He grew up with grits, so he loves his grits. But they come in a bowl, like a porridge. Me, I'm a textural thing. Like, I don't want soft eggs with soft grits. That's why I like the crispy potatoes. It's just, you know, we all have what we like. But this gives me my grits and my crunch at the same time. Yep, so and it's, it's like I said, it's a quick, portable. You can take, you eat this in the car. Put some jam on it, put some jam on it. Yep, yeah, butter jam, fantastic. So many things you can do with this. It's, you know, and it's just, now you could use the packet instead of the container of grits. I believe that would be the same amount. It might be three points, I'm not sure. Yeah, check that. But either or, I think you'll see the texture and the consistency of your thing. If you need to add a little bit more or maybe add less of the yogurt. I'm curious how the yogurt's going to taste in here because the old recipe had a banana. Back when I was making everything with a banana. Bananas made it better. But, and then I moved on to applesauce. But yeah, I was going, like I said, I had it still out. I just felt like, you know what? I got a little bit of yogurt that needs to be used up and I think that'll work. And I think it worked perfectly so I, ch -ch 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 -ch. I this video is too short so I could, how do we extend it we'll just chit chat here and talk about my fantastic crits loaf but no i will come back with my breakfast to show you how it looks toasted and the most important thing how many points was this d four four for the grits again you could probably use three points worth but honestly Egg was zero, the yogurt, everything else was a zero point item in your loaf. Even the banana would have been a zero point item for people that are not diabetic. So if you are on, well, I'd have to count the yogurt on the diabetic plan. That is true. I forgot about that. That might be an extra point, but honestly, this is a substantial little loaf. It's your toast. It's your toast. So just wanted to put that out there. All right, I toasted. I am having half. I did make the crust. It's just one egg, a little bit of yogurt, ranch powder, a teaspoon of bacon bits, and I just said the yogurt, a little salt and pepper, and of course, you know, I can't have anything without they having the onion butter on there. So that's it. You can make your egg salad how you like. I did put a couple of capers in there, just felt like, so I would just load them on top. I don't know, this is breakfast. Because it, it's still eggs. It's yogurt. It's so just because it's in a salad form doesn't make it, you know, it just makes it different. How do you change up your breakfast? I don't know. Make it into a salad. Look at that. Your egg salad is zero points. Your loaf is probably two points. This half, I should say. So there is cracked out egg salad on a grits loaf. Something different. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's, today's retro D recipe. It's an oldie but a goodie. I always forget about this one. This is one of the ones I eat and I go, why don't I make this more? But I did change it up a bit, so. It will be reflected on dishwithd.com. We'll hook you up for the written recipe. Again, if you are new here, welcome. If you have not hit that subscribe button, join us here, Dish with D. And you are returning. Thank you so much for tuning back in. My OGs, always pull it out in the end. I thank you so much. Like I said, any questions, leave them down below. And do you enjoy this video? And comment below if you have any ideas for any future videos in the future. So I'm always looking for new ideas. So I will dish with you another day. Thanks for watching.